Okay, uh, I want to combine an existing image with my already quite uh, dodgy looking design and I found one on the internet which is the classic alien logo I'm going to copy that image and I'm going to edit and paste paste that in and it comes in as a layer in my image now to make use of that I want to get rid of this white background and Photoshop's got a nice selection tool either the quick selection tool or the magic one tool magic one tool selects based on color so I've got a nice uniform white background here so if I select anywhere here you can see that Photoshop has made a nice selection around uh, around that color so it's very useful where you've got solid colors that you want to remove and I can just do uh, that to remove the uh, to, to remove the white color I will just check Just deselect first of all. I'll just check. Yeah, you see, sometimes we get not all of it removed, so I'll just uh, take the remainder of that off. Just move the image and just see. Just take the remainder of that. Off. See, you can see it's only working on the visible bits. It's actually a little bit too large, so what I'll do is just quickly transform it, and scaling it down. Again, I'm going to do it proportionately. I think I'm going to actually put it onto my design here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Just click a tick. I've still got this white line here, which I want to get rid of. I can I can do my selection tool. I could use one of my rubber tools. The eraser tool here is quite useful in this instance. Uh, I've got different kinds of eraser tool. Uh, the block is the most basic one. So if I select that, I can just come and move that out of the way. Okay, so I've got that nicely cleaned up. Uh, so I've moved it into position. Okay, I'm going to put it right on there, but it looks a bit clumsy. So again, I'm going to go to my layer blending and see if I can get some nice effects with that. Now, as we said here, uh, this is where we blend our layers, <coughs> and what is it doing? What is it doing? What it is doing is is looking at the two layers here and looking at the interaction between them. So again, I can just click in there, double click. I'm just going to scroll through and see what effects I can get. See, that's starting to look more interesting. That looks a bit more interesting. Okay, and I think I'm quite happy with that in terms of giving me a sort of ghostly uh, alien effect. So I'm using the overlay one there. But you'll need to experiment uh, to get effects that you like. Uh, so that's how to bring an image in from outside and deal with something particularly clip art and also using the magic wand tool to remove solid colors from those images so you can combine them more authentically with your design okay that's the end of that tutorial